What's good everyone, Jay The Way back at it with another video and if you couldn't tell already from my videos, I'm a huge Kobe Bryant fan and you could tell with the shoes I got in the background and the apparel that I wear, which a lot of them is Kobe apparel and I had to make this video for Mamba Week because it was supposed to be his 42nd birthday and it was Kobe day just a few days ago. I'm not gonna talk about too much of what Kobe meant to me in my life. That's gonna be for another video, but all I'm gonna say is without that man, I would definitely not be the person who I am today. He's a big reason why I work hard and be the best version of myself I can be every day. His tragic passing with his daughter and seven other people on board earlier this year really just killed me. Ever since then, I still think about what could have been his next career if he had never passed away. He will always be my favorite basketball player. And with that being said, I'm gonna talk about the Kobe shoes that I own and what they mean to me. Keep in mind, I'm not gonna keep every single one of these shoes. I'm definitely gonna give some of them away or sell some of them. There's no point in keeping a lot of this to yourself. And if you ask me how I was able to afford all this, first, I invest my money well. I invest my money in stocks and I do have a shoe business, I do sell Jordans, and I did sell Kobe's a lot before he actually died. I bought all these shoes over a very long period of time too, and I've been a Kobe fan for a very long time. The extra money that I made and I invested, whether if it was in shoes or my stocks, I used that to buy these shoes, and now I'm gonna be giving these away to true Kobe fans who actually want them. Well, not all of them. Some of them I definitely wanna keep. Starting with my first Kobe sneaker, the Kobe 6 Grinch. You already know, the Black Mamba wore these on Christmas Day against the Miami Heat. Unfortunately, they lost, but this is one of the best Christmas sneakers to ever release in the history. These resell for a crazy amount, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to keep these ones forever. This pair means a lot to me, the Kobe 8 Sulphur. This is the shoe that got me into sneakers, and this was a while ago. This was all the way back in 2012. It's because the Kobe 8 was probably one of the most innovative shoes ever made. Really lightweight, engineered mesh with Lunar Lawn. Kobe was on a tear that season in these shoes. He was 34 years old carrying that sorry Lakers squad to the playoffs before he tore his Achilles. This next one is my grail. The Kobe 11 fade to black. Kobe scored 60 points in his final game in these shoes. This is probably one of the nicest Kobe's I've ever owned. I keep these in pristine condition and I remember watching that last game like it was yesterday. These shoes absolutely mean the world to me. There is no way I'm giving these away. This pair is a clean pair. The Kobe 10 Shark Jaw. It's HTM, it's very limited. I like the two-tone look into it, the white and the black and the gray Oreo on this side. And keep in mind they have the Mamba skin texture on here. This shoe is absolutely dope. It is one of those dope shoes that I just keep and I rock for lifestyle. This next one I wore in high school is the Kobe 9 Christmas. And I've had these for a long time. They're beat up. Kobe was supposed to play against the Chicago Bulls wearing this. Unfortunately, we never got to see him playing these, but these are absolutely beautiful shoes. Uh, they remind me of my favorite holiday, of course, as they're the Christmases. And yeah, this is, what, can I, what else can I say? This is just a dope shoe. This next shoe has a lot of meaning to me. This is the Kobe 6 Dark Knight. And the reason why this shoe has a lot of meaning to me is because I ordered these shoes a few days before he died, and these came in the mail after he died. And whenever I look at these shoes, I just think of that terrible day. While these were on the way coming to me, he unfortunately just had to pass away. This next pair of Kobe's mean a lot to me, the Kobe 11 Black History Month. The reason why these mean a lot to me is because I watched Kobe play in New Orleans and he was wearing this same colorway. He had 27 points against the Pelicans. It was the last road victory of his career and he hit basically a game winning shot that game. And not only that, he high-fived me at when he was walking out of the tunnel and there's a photo right here that shows him shooting the ball and that's me in the background so i'm never letting go of these these shoes the kobe one pro tro 81 points there is not much to be said 
This is a sick colorway. I like the white, purple, and the black. And he scored 81 points in an NBA game. Even in today's NBA fast paced style, and now everybody's shooting threes, and now everybody's scoring 50 points, the Black Mamba still holds that record of 81 points in the game. This next shoe is one of those shoes that are just absolutely sick. The Kobe 9 Elite Black History Month. He never wore these in the game, but I love this black and white flying it. It is absolutely beautiful. The, a lot of people say they don't like the Kobe 9 highs, but when you have these in hand, they are absolutely gorgeous. These next pair of Kobe's is one that I wore around a lot, it is the white horse. This is one of the most beautiful colorways you can see. I love the white flying it mixed with the multicolor flying it. And what makes this shoe stand out is the leather tongue and the leather swoosh. And that's what makes this shoe very high quality. And I love wearing this during the summertime. The shoe absolutely screams summertime. Speaking of the white horse, I also have the red horse. And these red horses are just absolutely beautiful. You can see the fly knit fades from a multicolor red to a blood red into a dark red with a white swoosh. The paint on the shoe, the white is actually supposed to come off and supposed to reveal a red leather underneath. I personally would rather have it as a white leather. I might repaint these white but these are absolutely beautiful. The bottom of the shoe is this camo print and the laces like the white horses have gold aglets on it. This other pair of Kobe's I own, the mangoes or the peach jams or whatever. I like the Kobe 9 low. The Kobe 9 is one of my favorite Kobe models. This is just a sick, nice shoe to wear in the summer. Not much needs to be said. Engineer mesh is really comfortable, but it can get very dirty sometimes. This next one, I've pointed these out in one of my videos, is the Kobe 8 Purple Gradient, or the playoffs. Kobe wore these against the Houston Rockets in the 2013 season. It goes from a light purple to a dark purple. This next one has some good meaning to it. It's the Kobe 4 Pro Tro Wizenard. This is the Wizenard series is the ser book series he started as part of his creative side after his retirement. Uh, these, this is an absolutely crazy colorway. I got these in downtown Chicago. Uh, this was shortly after he passed too. This next one is the Kobe 8 system blue coral snake or the blue lights. Kobe wore these in the exhibition in Santa Monica Beach, I believe. It's one of the first shoes I've owned. As you see, it's very beat up. This next one is the Kobe 6 white Dell soles or the Kobe 6 Steelers. These are brand new, never worn. I don't plan to wear these. I plan to give these away. They're absolutely beautiful though. This next one is the Kobe 9 Elite What The. This is quite a crazy colorway, not the best What The colorway that's out there for sure. The What The Kobe 8s were definitely a lot better, but it's another one of those Kobe 9 Elite highs that I have. It's, I think it's a beautiful colorway though. This other one is one of my favorite colorways, the Kobe 9 Elite Beethoven. This one means a lot to me. It's been one of my favorite Kobe's for a long, long time. I like the two-sided look of this and I'm also a pianist, so Kobe 9 Beethoven, this one's a keeper for sure. This last one is the Kobe 5 Big Stage, Pro Tro Big Stage, and these came in today. This side represents the colorway he wore against the finals against the Celtics when he won his fifth ring. This other side is supposed to represent a player edition version he wore during the parade. Uh, these shoes are absolutely amazing. I'm really glad I could own this pair and have a piece of history. This is the first Kobe shoe that released after his death and they released on his 42nd birthday. These are gonna mean a lot to me in the long run. That's all the Kobe shoes I own. If I were to rank the models, the models that I would play in, I really like to play in the Kobe 8s, the Kobe 11. I also like playing in the Kobe 9 Elite. I think it's one of the best Kobe's that you can play in simply because the traction is absolutely amazing. And I really like playing in the Kobe 1 Pro Tro 2. You know what? I like playing in all the Kobe's. Every single Kobe is a damn good shoe to play in. I know some old heads are a little biased saying that they like the six or the fives. I mean, I understand for nostalgia reasons, but I do think the newer models are technically better in per terms of performance. That is it for this video. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. We all miss you. Comment below what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Jay the way out.